Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be unboxing the BenQ EW3270U monitor, the 4K Ultra HD monitor that I had ordered. I uh, mentioned this in my previous video. Alrighty, so here it is. The BenQ monitor that I had ordered. It's 32 inches, 80 centimeters, which is ridiculously big well bigger than any monitor that I've ever owned in the past and as you can see some of the details here on the box HDR UHD USB-C you know the uh, eye sense technology eye care technology sorry and then the AMD FreeSync technology 3000 to 1 aspect ratio but um yeah let's open it up okay so in the box you get a few different cables the power cable another HDMI cable I think and then you got the USB-C cable you got your um, I guess your stand and your warranty card and so just let's grab this take this off the uh... boom okay so I quickly put together the stand which comes in two pieces really easy to assemble simply just screw that on and you're done. Before I flip the monitor over, I thought I'd quickly show you the all the different uh, ports and connections at the back. So if you look at the underside, you got all of your different ports. You can see you've got a couple of HDMI ports, your um, in, and then you've got your USB-C. You've got a he headphone jack there as well. Uh, what else? You've got your buttons there as well, obviously. And you can see the, the speakers at the bottom there speaker and then your power cable this is where it goes and also you can see at the back here that it's got a wall mount so if you wanted to buy a separate mount which I'm planning on doing um, just because this monitor or this stand um, only tilts back and forward and that's it you can't raise it up you can't um, tilt it sideways or anything like that it just goes up and down um, not a huge range of motion so that's why um, it's really good that they've included these uh, wall mount ports. So if you wanted to put it on a, on, on a wall mount or get a, a separate stand, um, an adjustable one, then you can do that as well. Okay, let's flip this over now. All right, so here it is, guys. So with the stand on, wow, it is really, really quite big. I actually did not expect it to be this big, but it is quite the monitor. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining about these larger bezels but I don't mind it at all I don't mind it at all I mean BenQ it's all that quality it's got you know your eye care because I'm going to be using this monitor quite a lot and that's the sensor there and you can obviously if you watched all of the uh, reviews on this monitor you can turn the HDR on and off right there from that button um, and yeah there it is Okay, I'm now going to go and ahead and just uh, turn this monitor on and show you guys what it looks like first up without anything and see if I can connect my laptop to it as well. And I've got my PS4 there as well so I can maybe hook that up as well. So, Alright guys, this is probably one of the easiest setups I have ever experienced. This is insane. So I have my MacBook Pro, which you guys might have seen in the uh, previous video, set up there. And all I did was literally plug in the monitor's power cord into the wall, connect the USB-C to the laptop, you know straight into the monitors port where it has a USB-C and it just picked up the laptop straight away I didn't have to open up the monitor I didn't have to I mean I didn't have to open my laptop I didn't have to go in there and change the settings or anything it's simply the monitor straight away picked it up so simple and it looks absolutely stunning this screen the real estate the amount of real estate you have to work with is is awesome and as you guys might remember I got the uh, the magic keyboard there in the space gray my mouse and what a little stand for the laptop so obviously that takes a little bit more space than i'd like it to so i might um end up getting the uh the laptop stands so far this looks insane i wonder if the uh, hdr on and off that'll change anything so anyway let's open up a window see see how it look wow so much room to work with this is awesome i've always wanted a monitor like this so if i make that full screen bam so i could easily easily have multiple windows open next up let's hook up my ps and see how how that'll perform so clamshell mode easiest thing so if you want more screen to work with 
if you've got a MacBook Pro already, simply, you know, if you've got the USB-C connection, perfect. Otherwise, definitely can do the HDMI, but USB-C is like so fast, so quick. And if you read um, uh, up on some of the reviews about how USB-C changes the whole game, then you'll definitely want to go this way. But yeah, it looks amazing. It's perfect. It works really, really well and definitely worth the investment, I reckon. Anyway, guys, so here it is. FIFA 19, I've just booted up. The quality is a lot better than the previous um, TV that I, that I had here, the Samsung TV. And I'm not just exaggerating, it looks a lot better. So this is just the obviously the home screen, but we'll see what the gameplay looks like. But so far, it looks really, really nice to me. All right, so you guys can switch between regular HDR and cinema HDR. So basically normal HDR is a lot more warm. There's a warm tinge to it, as I don't know if you guys can tell. And then more blue with the uh, cinema HDR. I think I like the... Uh, They both look really nice, but I think I prefer so far the Cinema HDR. So yeah, pretty easy to change. So let's just keep going. Show you guys a bit of gameplay now. So you can have a look, quick look. So here we go. Just scored a nice goal with Shakiri Ultimate Team. Check it out. Oh no, he skipped it. <laughs> anyway. There's a beautiful curler, top bins. What a finesse. Anyway, just testing out the monitor. As you can hear, the sound is not great by any means. As I said, better than nothing. And the quality is, I'm finding is definitely better than my Samsung TV that I had before. So definitely very impressed. Um, going off first impressions. Oh. Yeah, first impressions with HDR on, I can definitely see the quality. I don't know about you guys, this camera that I'm recording on probably is not the best quality, but it's the best that I can do. But yeah, really happy with the quality. HDR is actually quite nice. This monitor is big enough to watch, you know, movies on, you know, at 32 inches, you can easily easily watch movies you know do a bit of work on your laptop um you know play some games it's basically the all-rounder with ik technology you can be on this monitor for quite a while especially if you're typing or doing anything like that um you know you're working on your laptop doing editing or anything of the that nature for a long period of time um so yeah definitely worth the upgrade so far first impressions pretty good um, obviously there's heaps of other videos out there telling you a bit more in-depth information about the monitor but I thought I'd quickly share a quick unboxing and a uh, and share with you guys my uh, first impressions of the monitor so yeah there it is so that's a setup from a distance you got the laptop on the right uh, I've got to get the clamshell or the laptop stand the monitor in the middle PS4 setup there um, but yeah it's just as simple as that it's a beautiful monitor BenQ, one of my favorites, high quality, great products, and yeah, can't be more, can't be any happier. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like for more videos and make sure to subscribe, help me out. And I'm hoping to get a thousand subs soon, so yeah, please help me out and uh, yeah, take care. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Check out these match highlights, some massive goals I scored. Oh, that love foot. Check out this volley. Nice. That finesse. There you go.